Hein Hello? There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was weird. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll just redo my announcement, I guess. Which was just that, um... <laughs> it's our second ever Bean Bonus stream. Um, and I'm doing an AI showcase. <laughs> um... Uh, most of it is stuff that I've collected over the last year or so, um, but there are... We do have some community-submitted um, examples, so there will be some stuff we'll be reacting to for the first time today, so... <laughs> that should be fun. Um, I'm planning to do Bean Bonus streams every other week now. I'm gonna try and keep to that. Um, assuming I have enough stuff for that. <laughs> um... I will do bean bonus streams every other week. Okay, we're back. Hi. <laughs> Hello. All right, let's get started. So I'm starting with this one because it is fitting for the bean bonus stream. <laughs> I, I tried to get it to make the bean. Um, <laughs> and this is what we got. So here's, uh, here's Crayon's idea of a <laughs> bootleg Plants vs. Zombies coffee bean toy. <laughs> Although, come to think of it, this is the chili bean, not the coffee bean. So, I've made a mistake. Oops. <laughs> well, hold on, let's try again. Let me go to Crayon. Also, once again, shout out to Sasha for our Bean Bonus Stream song. She made this. So let me write that in now. We'll let that sit in the oven while we're doing everything else. Zombies. Chili Bean Toy. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Alright, let's get everything else in. I don't actually have it set up yet, so let's go for it. Let's see. Um, we're gonna do manual. Transition will be swipe. Um, yeah, we'll loop it. Made when slideshow is done. Randomized playback, perfect. Add directory. Um, everything froze. Oops, I don't know if you can still hear me. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, it was... Oh! There we go. We got it. Let me fit the screen. Oh, I'm kind of in the way of this, aren't I? So this seems to be from AI Dungeon. <laughs> okay. Consuming what little remains of your nose. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's a start. Oh. Well, that's, um, that's a Mario. <laughs> that's, that's a Mario. It's like a weird, it's like, it almost looks like Baby Mario, but wrong. <laughs> well, here we have a spooky skeleton <laughs> in the woods. We like this guy. Um... Oh, arms too! Wow! This is what it's gonna look like, huh? <laughs> Looks a little different than the first one, huh? Incredible. Oh, here's AMS too. 
<laughs> is this just going in order? I feel like this might just be going in order. Yeah, so far it's been in order. It's supposed to be random. I told you to make it random. There we go. Now it's random. <laughs> Here's Luigi in York. Uh, he's... I don't know why he's so big. <laughs> he's... he's uh, Luigi's really large in some of these. Miles, Tails, Prower, and Cardiff. <laughs> now it's going in order again. How do I randomize it? Randomize. Trail cam footage of Super Mario. Oh, he's there. <laughs> he's he's there, all right. Also, let's get some different music in here. Bring me to YouTub, please. Please, I would like to go to YouTub, please. Um. Let's go for the classic. Let's go for the absolute classic. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> There's what we need for this type of stream. There we go. Super Mario for the PS4. It's do- I don't know how to make this random. I swear to god. Random eyes playback, please. Do I need to just keep clicking this button? Oh, here's one that I made with, uh, GPT-3 Playground. <laughs> ah, no! Well, Biss made this one. But we'll get back to that other one at some point, I guess. Oh, Jesus, what is that? <laughs> I don't even know what that is! It's like a bunch of legs or something. Oh, this must have been from Chroma. This looks like something Chroma would have made. <laughs> a wizard with the chickens. I wish, I wish that randomization would just work, you know? from Mario at Pride. There he is. Look at the look at the one in the upper right with like the circle. <laughs> it's like a toad pride flag. I like how toads just got like extra colors on them for pride. The upper left one is interesting too. That's another new pride flag. And the it's just making new flags. It's interesting. <laughs> Dinosaur milking. For the Nintendo DS? <laughs> okay. Ah! Who's that? <laughs> Who's this? There's the- there's a chicken in the library. <laughs> oh, Fortnite for the Nintendo DS. And, and Mario's there, I guess. <laughs> I can't believe they put Mario- I like how there's two I's in Fortnite and the N has become a new letter. <laughs> That's pretty great. Here's Springtrap playing basketball. <laughs> I like how he got in the hoop. Springtrap doesn't know how to play basketball. He got in the hoop. <laughs> Here's Shadow the Hedgehog in Paris. I like this one because, for the most part, it seems to have decided Paris is a void. <laughs> it's just white nothing, or the sky. Only in one of them did it try to make an actual background. <laughs> well, here's Eggman in Dublin. <laughs> Mm 
Metal Sonic and Brussels. I just I cannot seem to make these go randomly. There we go. Super Mario inside a toilet. I like how he's next to the toilet in one of them. <laughs> That's just a, that one where he's next to the toilet. It's such a scary image. Oh my god. I, d <laughs> I don't like that one. That Mario scares me. Jesus. Well, let me get out of the way. The show will go in whatever direction the viewers want it to. You decide. I've done all I can do. Can you make it more like Homestuck? <laughs> I don't think that would be a good idea at all. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we had that one. We're back here again. No, it's supposed to be random! It's supposed to be random! What are you doing? <laughs> there we go. Bigfoot shopping at Walmart. That's pretty great. <laughs> He's there! He's in, there's lots of Bigfoots in Walmart. <laughs> wow. King K. Rule shopping at- oh. He's there too. Everybody loves to go to Walmart. <laughs> Sans and Fort- oh my god. It really looks like Sans and Fortnite. That's so scary. I- know how to read how to truly random oh yeah here we go here's one from uh, ah no back what no go back to that please I, no I swear I wanted that one <laughs> no! oh. there's Mario at Walmart <laughs> Freddy Fazbear at Walmart Freddy Fazbear fighting sands I'm like zipping past these. Let's go back and savor this one. <laughs> He's brought some friends, I think. Also, this one. You so uh, why does it make Mario and Luigi so tall? They're like they're so large. I don't understand. There's Sand Slam Dunking Frisk. Well, he has a what it might. Constitute as a basketball in one of these images. <laughs> There's that one again. I just, I don't know how to get this to be randomized. I'm sorry, everybody. I failed you. How do I say thank you in sign language? You hold out your hand. You hold out your hand and he slaps you hard across the face? <laughs> what? What is going on? What if I just redo this slideshow? What if I just make a new slideshow? Maybe this one's just cursed. I'm gonna make this work, I swear, chat. <laughs> okay. Manual. Oops, do I want to add? I wonder if it will work better if I just individually add the files instead of adding it as a directory. Let's see if that'll... let's see if that'll work. Yeah, I'm gonna manually blast it. <laughs> let's see. Ah, this seems to be working. So here's trail cam footage of a clown. <laughs> this one's kind of scary. I like how the clown nose is in color, but nothing else is. Oop, I turned it to fade. I want to do slide again. 
Ah, here's this one. This is one that was made by the GPT-3 Playground. <laughs> I didn't actually manage to get images in there. Most of the time, because I made it, I was having it make HTML files, right? And usually when it tries to add images, it just adds just a URL that doesn't exist. But this time it managed to get some real images. I was very impressed. Ten awful video games that will make you want to claw your eyes out. Honkas Bonkas. This game is so bad it's not even worth turning on your console for. The graphics are hideous, the gameplay is atrocious, and overall experience is just plain bad. Beetle Butts! <laughs> if you're looking for a game that's guaranteed to give you a headache, look no further than Beetle Butts. This game is a buggy mess. And terrible con with terrible controls and even worse graphics. Shit Eater 200. This game is literally buddy. <laughs> that's all you do. It's not even fun because the controls are so bad that you can't even get the character to eat the shit properly. <laughs> This article is garbage, and so are these games. I can't believe you would put Shit Year 200 on this list. It's my favorite game. How could you not include Honkas? You did. They did include Honkas Bonkas. What are you talking about? <laughs> they, did, they did include Honkas Bonkas, though. Well, here's the Pope Olympic. This one I love because... I love this AI's capability of just making up complete nonsense and serving t it to you with a straight face. There are no Pope Olympics, and yet it came up with all these details that sound... Like, I had to look at... I was like, wait a minute. Did, is there actually a thing called the Pope Olympics? No, there's not. It just made this all up completely. Because it's like, the, the events are the Papal Bull Throw, the Cardinal Balance Beam, the Conclave Crawl, and the Holy Seesaw. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it's just, I, and it's like the, the Pope of the Catholic Church competes against the Patriarch of the Orthodox Church in a series of challenges. I, it's just immensely funny to me. So it's still not randomizing it. I'm very upset, but whatever. We're just going to deal with it. The United States was one of the first countries to be attacked by nuclear gorillas. <laughs> I love how it formatted this website. <laughs> the gorillas descended from the mountains and destroyed several cities, including New York, Los Angeles, and Washington, D.C. The United States government was quick to respond to the threat, and soon a team of scientists and soldiers was dispatched to the mountains to find and destroy the gorilla's nest. The team was successful in their mission, and the gorillas were eradicated. However, the damage had been done. The United States was left in ruins, and its people were left to pick up the pieces. <laughs> Copyright 2017, Nuclear Gorilla Attacks of the World. <laughs> I love how there's, like, links to different countries where this occurred in. <laughs> This one was great. Here's a Pikachu that looks like a pug. <laughs> I love the bottom middle one. That's my favorite. <laughs> that one's so funny. <laughs> Here's Cupid Doll Civil War reenactment. Oh my god, we got we got bootleg chili beans. Let me let me let me toss this in real quick. Hold on one sec. Are you are you prepared, chat, for bootleg chili beans? <laughs> I am prepared. Here we go. into the music. <laughs> Alright, let's throw this in. Capture 41. There we go. <laughs> um, there you go. <laughs> Ta-da! 
<laughs> I hope you enjoy. Here's some more of the bean. <laughs> <laughs> These are so good, I love them all. <laughs> Here's the Bean's brethren. <laughs> the Bean now has siblings. Isn't that great, chat? The family has grown bigger. What do you think of how the composer of a creative exercise thinks about how it's used today? I, I don't know. The hell they aren't bald. <laughs> You're right, Chromal. So hi. Here's the Cupid doll Civil War reenactment. I'm I'm fond of this one. <laughs> Here's Star Trek versus the giant ants. I love making Star Trek episode ones because they turn out phenomenal. I just, I love its ability to capture what Star Trek episodes look like. And like, what the props on Star Trek look like. Because, like, don't those giant ants look like they would be on Star Trek? It's, like, accurate. <laughs> it's not very good at the faces, though. The, the faces turn out a little bit, uh, janky. <laughs> to put it nicely. Oh, we know who made this one. <laughs> Here's one from Beth. It's a narrow gauge locomotive. <laughs> Here's Markiplier versus the machine. <laughs> this is pretty great. There's the machines and there's Markiplier. I love the one in the upper left. It's a it looks like Spider Man. <laughs> Here's Void Termina. Some interesting designs there, I like it. <laughs> hey, thanks for the subscription! It should pop up on stream in a moment. Here's Sonic the Hedgehog working at McDonald's! <laughs> Pretty great! Oh, this is one of my favorites ever! Look at this! <laughs> It's called Big Booty Blimp, and that's what it made! It's a blimp, and, it's <laughs> and it looks like a big booty! <laughs> it's accurate! This is one of the funniest ones I've ever seen it make. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's getting me again, oh my god. Big Booty Blimp. <laughs> oh, this is a favorite. Spooky ghost working at McDonald's. <laughs> Trail cam footage of classic Sonic and Knuckles. Well, it got Sonic in there. <laughs> I just I love the fact that it makes most of them just like regular trail cam footage of like deers cuz then it makes it seem like it's like a like a slideshow of like snapshots that were taken throughout the night um and then it just happens that whatever character or person you put in just happened to walk by at some point in the night as well and it's so funny trail cam footage of a scary ghost <laughs> i love the one on the middle right that's like smeared like the ghost was like going it was a speedy ghost it was going real fast I love the one in the upper left that has a mouth as well. That's pretty great. <laughs> I think Sasha said she thought this one was legitimately scary. Oh, here's 1960s episode of Star Trek episode about Barack Obama. <laughs> I love that he keeps changing the color of his uniform. That's the best part of this. <laughs> this is a great one. <laughs> The Star Trek ones are fantastic. Here's Furry Bait Pokemon. This made this one. <laughs> um, it seems like this one was influenced by uh, um, the recent announcement of Sprigatito. 
because they all seem to be, uh, <laughs> they're all green, and they all look like, vaguely, they could be Sprigatito evolutions, so. <laughs> also, everybody, if you have any suggestions in the chat for new things we could make Crayon do while we're looking at stuff, um, please let me know. I would love to do some more in the background. Get some fresh ones. Trail cam footage of Obama. This is a great one. Again, it just looks like he just kind of walked past in the middle of the night for some reason. <laughs> Your security camera footage of Markiplier. <laughs> the upper left one is the best one here. <laughs> because there he is. He just showed up. Oh my god, it's so funny. <laughs> Oh my god. There's that one again. Here's Cars 4. There's that's just a lot of cars. <laughs> There's just a lot of them. Bowser taking a dump on Pac-Man's floor. Always suggest adding brutalist painting of. Okay, brutalist painting of Bowser. Taking a dump on Pac-Man's floor. Alright! <laughs> we'll see what that makes. Here's Mr. Bean in Star Trek. I love this one. I enjoy because it included the cartoon version of Mr. Bean at the bottom there. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. <laughs> Captain Picard as a Muppet. It kind of just made him plasticky. And also it included Kermit. <laughs> Kermit is the Muppet. K Kermit is the platonic ideal of a Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> and then here's Muppet Show episode about Freddy Fazbear. So here's what Freddy Fazbear would look like as a Muppet. Like it's uncanny. Look at the middle left one. It looks like Freddy Fazbear as a Muppet. <laughs> it's so... It's so wild. And this one blew my freaking mind because it does, it made a design for Freddy Fazbear that looks like if he was an actual costume in the original Star Trek. And like it rendered it as if it's like in the show. It's like... How did it do this? <laughs> How did it put these things together? Like, like, look at that! That looks like a costume they would have had at the time. I'm like... <laughs> it's so wild. These all look like screen caps from an episode. <laughs> what the hell? This is one of the most incredible ones I've seen it make. <laughs> Nineteen sixties Batman episode about SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> this is a good one. <laughs> so that's a pretty good one. I love the weird ass Batman in the bottom middle. It's a great one. <laughs> oh. Here's nineteen sixty Star Trek episode about shopping at Walmart. Here's some more Walmart shop. I love how the Walmart seems to be in the ship in some of these. Like, they have a Walmart built into the Enterprise. I love, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> the Enterprise Walmart. Oh yeah, here- Again, it does an incredible job at rendering things as if they were in Star Trek. Because does not look like Majora's Mask if it was a prop on Star Trek. Especially in, like, the upper right there. And the middle left. It's like, how did it do this? <laughs> I, th I think, Ruby, the reason why it struggles with anything is just because I think in order to work the way it does and with the speed it does, like working for so many people all the time, it has to be like limited. It's, it's kind of like when you get video game peripherals or controllers where there's like some really high tech like system or technology that they're based on, but they had to like pare it down, like the Wii Remote for instance, or they had to pare down the technology to work at a consumer level. 
I think. It's just that the AI is working below capacity to produce these. Like, it's not giving it as many, like, rounds of, like, whatchamacallit. Like, it's, like, it's not, <laughs> it's not putting as much power into it as it could be. Here's Majora's Mask in Manhattan. <laughs> I love the one in the middle where it gave it a little body. <laughs> Here's Majora's Mask in the back room. <laughs> it does a great job with back rooms, by the way. If you want, if you want to make some good ones, make them in the back rooms. Oh my god, this one that we put in turned out absolutely terrible. Are you ready for just... bad? Are you ready for something really, really bad? Because it's on the way. Let's see. There, there you go. This, um... <laughs> there, <laughs> there you go, that just kind of didn't turn out like much, did it? Look at the blade, look at the middle right one though. What the hell is that at the bottom of the image? Is that the dump? Is the... <laughs> anyway... Let's continue. Oh yeah, trail cam footage of Majora's Mask. Look at the first one. Look at the upper left one here. Woo. How did it get it in like... Like, it looks like it's in like infrared view. And it's got like the ridges on it and everything. Like it, like it had like a bump map. How did it do that? That's incredible. <laughs> Freaking amazing. Your stroke cam footage of Captain Picard! I love that one! <laughs> Look at him on the on the middle left. New request Homer Simpson in the back rooms. Okay, that one should probably turn out. <laughs> Here's Homer Simpson amiibo. Sasha made this one, I think. <laughs> You get good results making amiibos out of things as well. That's a that's a good suggestion as well if you want to get good stuff out of this. <laughs> Make amiibos. Oh, I love this one. Captain Picard meeting Pac-Man. Look, there he is in the upper left. <laughs> He's there. It's Pac-Man. Captain Picard met him. Oh my god. Also, it's Captain Picard meeting himself more in several of these. Why are there two Picards? <laughs> what? <laughs> Captain Picard is meeting himself. Here's 1960 Star Trek episode about Pac-Man. <laughs> this one didn't quite turn out very well, but there you go. <laughs> Oh. oh, here's this one again. And this one again. Whoops, what did I just do? What in the world was that? <laughs> anyway... There's these ones we saw. Oh, more arms too. <laughs> Cartoony arms too? But it just doesn't know. Look at this one. That's like a war game. Jeez, arms too went in a different direction from the original game, didn't it? it looks like Halo or something. <laughs> what the heck is this? Arms switch. Wait, Neural Blender just doesn't know what arms is, does it? What the heck is that? Is this minion butts? <laughs> what? It's staring at me. 
Okay, we've got Homer Simpson in the back rooms now, by the way. You know what? To make this easier on my life, I'm going to do something here. New um, window capture. Window capture. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let me put it here. Transform. It's screen. Transform. Center. Horizontally. There we go. There's Homer Simpson in the back room. <laughs> so now I can just pop this up when we have new things made. <laughs> can you create a quest? Bioluminescent worm emerges from chasm in the deep sea at high speed. Yes, you may. Let's put that in. <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's get off of this thing. Oh, the Bible for the Nintendo DS! Wow! <laughs> Sasha so says, I love that I made the back rooms in the classic Simpson style. Yeah, it did. Also, that's enough of that. Um, I want to listen to this one. I can't stop listening to this song. And it feels fitting for this as well. Oh my god. The tone that it's giving this. That it's giving this one. <laughs> Read this with this music happening. It's incredible. It's just coming and coming and coming and it smells so fucking bad. I can't even stand it, but I can't stop. I've been at this for like an hour now. And I'm just getting started. I'm in so much pain. But I can't stop. I've been... And I'm just getting started. Wait. I know I'm going to regret this later, but I can't help it. I'm asleep. <laughs> you just choked, Sasha? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we saw this one. Let's build what sign that is. The sign for water? <laughs> it's an old sign I don't teach anymore. It means your mother. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> it means what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what am I reading? <laughs> With this music, it's incredible. You show him your pinky. That's the side where I will cut off your pinky. I will cut off your index finger. Let's see. This one will also be fitting. <laughs> Cut off all your finger. <laughs> I'm having what? I see it. What? <laughs> what? I... <laughs> I... I'm the second coming of Jesus and you must all bow down to me and accept me into your heart for, or suffer eternal torment. <laughs> you... <laughs> you become him at this... <laughs> uh, okay. Here's Milk Ocean Zone. <laughs> Thank you. 
Here's Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. So this is Neural Blender stuff. Dinosaur milking. Very good. The reason babies cry when they're... <laughs> there you go. Clown vomit. I'll just get out of the way for these. <laughs> Bigfoot taking a dumb. There you go. <laughs> what can I even say? I love how yours is there twice. That's pretty great. Yoshi's death. Sad. Oh my god. Here's Peep the Horror. I love this one because I made a movie poster out of it. Looks pretty sick. I'd watch that movie. <laughs> Look at that design, that's great. Here's Super Smash Bros. for the Game Boy Advance. I love that it has multiple uh, age ratings on there. So let's see what Crayon gave us. Whoops. That's just Earthbound. Here's Bioluminescent Worm emerges from the chasm in the deep sea at high speed. Well, not sure that's exactly what you wanted, but, um, there you go. I love this one. <laughs> Look at that face it made. That's incredible. It really looks like VeggieTales Exorcism. Here's Darth Vader pouring water in the ocean. <laughs> That one turned out pretty great. Anybody got some new suggestions for Crayon? First come, first serve. This is one of my favorites that Neural Blender ever made. Because it looks like a real product. It like made, and it also threw in an Among Us. Summoning Baba Yaga's hut to attack my enemy directly. Oil painting. Okay. But yeah, I love this. This is like a real product. It has like, it has milk. It has nuggets. It has Among Us. It's a baby milk nugget. I can't believe it. This is like my favorite thing it ever made. Oh, here's Murder Creature. This is again... Great design, I love it. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Here's a, oh, this one turned out really good. The underwater volcano. Doesn't look pretty. I like that one. <laughs> here's Speedy Eggbert. Ah, uh, here's another murder creature. This one, I um, am going to use as an inspiration for um, an enemy that I'm going to put in gray area. <laughs> so look forward to that. I have an enemy plan that's based on this design. Here we have lim This one turned out fantastic as well. Look at this liminal space. I love like the galaxy designs around the sides and everything. It's so good. <laughs> Your shadow people. Kind of scary. Here's nobody's here. Again, kind of scary. This is an even more liminal space. Than the one that was made for liminal space. You love the bot knowing what a liminal space is better than 90% of people who use the term? <laughs> Here's Outer Wilds. I like this one because it does kind of vaguely look like Outer Wilds. Looks like an abstract painting of Outer Wilds. Let's check on Crayon. Summoning Baba Yaga's hut to attack my enemy directly oil painting. Well, it made a- it looks like an oil painting of Baba Yaga's hut, at least. <laughs> it certainly did that. 
Here's the Toilet King of Milwaukee. There he is. He, I love the cartoon, just like the plain yellow cartoony ass crown. <laughs> Again, whoever's got um, a suggestion for crayon, let me know. And we will throw it in there. Here's an egg grenade. <laughs> it does kind of look like an egg grenade, doesn't it? Here's Gru. I love how it looks like a religious image of Gru. It's fantastic. Here's the Museum of Anything Goes. I don't know why it looks like a very large sex toy on the wall there, but... That anything goes, I guess. So, there, the, you know, there you go. Here's the Curse of Monkey Island. Again, I love how it just sort of vaguely resembles Monkey Island. <laughs> Our Lord and Savior, Gru. I love this one so much. Because it's just exactly the meme face of Gordon Ramsay, but like scronked up like and then and there's like wood planks what the hell is this i love it it's this is fantastic absolutely incredible oh look there's toby fox there he is that's toby fox everybody look he's right there that's him here's scumscape i don't that's a weird looking sky Anybody got any suggestions for a crayon, by the way? Still looking for those. For our, for our next attempt. Here's Tim Burton Seinfeld. I... Yeah. That, that's what it is. Here's Darth Vader pouring water in the ocean, but it didn't turn out as well as the other Darth Vader pouring water in the ocean. It's more like Darth Vader is in the ocean. Like, up to his like shoulders <laughs> he's in there this one I enjoyed because it's like a shot like like the camera's like on the ground for some reason also I love that it like got the uh, the little like info bar at the bottom of the screen it's like why is the camera on the ground it's not even like filming anything properly what's what is what what is going on Here's Sonic the Hedgehog real. Uh, yeah, that basically is, isn't it? Here's Yoshi Roadkill. <laughs> <laughs> this one still gets me. Road tearing open as mages crawl out of the earth. Oh, good one. Yeah, I freaking. <laughs> oh, oops. Here we go. Let me refresh the page so I can get that in. There we go. Okay. But yeah, I love Yoshi Roadkill. Isn't this so funny? In like a morbid way, I guess, but... <laughs> Insane streamer laughs at beloved dead dinosaur. Here's another Milk Ocean Zone. I, I enjoy this one a lot. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. Love this giant milk carton and what appear to be like cows or just like people wearing cow colored clothes. And the weird sky and like the weird cityscape on the horizon back there. It's incredible. Bigfoot fights Cloud Strife. Yeah, this is a good one because it kind of does vaguely look like Bigfoot fighting Cloud Strive. Bigfoot having a picnic with his wife and children. <laughs> I like how there's another family having a picnic nearby as well. I love this funny little face at the bottom. Who is that? Nobody knows. Who killed Bigfoot? I like how it looks like an impression of Bigfoot on the ground. Like he's fossilized or something. It's pretty great. 
Here's Sans ask you to give him your ball. <laughs> that is the most intimidating Sans of all time. He's like wearing a leather jacket. Look at the expression on his face. That's an expression of malice. That is an evil Sans. An untrustworthy Sans. Do not trust him with your balls, chat. Just, just don't. Oh, here's Road Tearing open as mages crawl out of the earth at twilight. Well, it, those are interesting looking images, but I kind of ignored the mage part of it. That orb on, <laughs> on his right is all the balls he's collected. It is. Here's bootleg plants vs. zombies bean toy. <laughs> So there's some more of those for you. I'm sorry, you should have clarified. That wasn't a request. <laughs> okay, I think I can come back now. Hi, there's room for me now. There's that one we started with. Count Olaf eating a chili dog. <laughs> He's doing it. I <laughs> Wait, I just noticed. I love that they it threw in... Olaf from Frozen as well in the top left. That's so funny. <laughs> it got <laughs> both Olaf. <laughs> Olaf from Frozen and Count Olaf sharing a hot dog together. Top 10 wholesome moments. Giant Skeleton Clown Wizard. This is a good one. <laughs> Any more requests, everybody? I'm just gonna type in Sanctuary Guardian and see what that makes. That's the name of the song we're listening to. What will it make? Trail cam footage of Freddy Fazbear. There he is. God, that middle one is scary. But the top left one is funny, so it offsets it. Also, the bottom left one is kind of scary, because he's, he's kind of off in the distance. Absolutely incredible. Trail cam footage of Super Mario. We saw that one. We saw that one. Okay, we've we've been past these ones already, so let's get them going. I don't know if we saw this one. Oh. Luigi's so big. Waluigi eating at McDonald's. Yeah, he's there. The only one where he seems to be eating, though, is the bottom right one. <laughs> well, on the bottom left, he look- why does he look like he's sitting in, like, a baby high chair on the bottom left? And he's got his widow burger. Hello, I'm Waluigi. I eat my widow burger. Sanctuary Guardian is a Dark Souls boss. Interesting. Wario falling off a cliff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh yeah, there's that one. Toad from Mario at Pride. Trail cam footage of SpongeBob. He's so small. I guess that makes sense. But he's like a tiny little... Look at the bot, the top left one where he's just this little sponge. Oh, he's what... Sp he's just, he's a little sponge, just like Spampton says. <laughs> this is what Spampton was talking about all along. It'll make sense now. Here's Bigfoot shopping at Walmart. Is that one. You saw that one. Ronald McDonald's funeral! <laughs> There's like, wait, there was like many Ronald McDonald's, and they're at the funeral for like one of them? Is that what's going on here? Or is it... What is happening? There's so many Ronalds. There's too many Ronalds in this image. Oh my god. Mr. Krabs' wedding? <laughs> it's just... He is marrying himself! Mr. Krabs is getting married to Mr. Krabs. <laughs> What? <laughs> Mr. Krabs is marrying himself. <laughs> Here's Sanctuary Guardian. 
Interesting, interesting. Oh yeah, what other song do we want to hear? What is- what's Onat? I don't remember. Okay, this works. Let's go back to this. Any more requests? <laughs> Alright. Mr. Krabs marries himself because he's the only one who he trusts with his money. <laughs> Benson from regular show, Fighting Kirby. <laughs> Kinda more like Becoming Kirby. Count Olaf in Fortnite. Oh lord. Uh, again, it, throw, it threw in one Olaf from Frozen. You want to put in Metroid Crawling? Okay. <laughs> he just ate Kirby. Oh, there's that one again. Dinosaur Milk. <laughs> there's that one. There's that one. There's the Fortnite Nintendo DS. Springtrap playing basketball. All these ones we saw. Tails, Prowler, and Cardiff. Boom Knuckles and Edinburgh. <laughs> I, I get there's like multiple of them. Also, I love the human knuckles in the in the bottom right. Also, is that like Professor E. Gad in the bottom middle? Who is that? With the big glasses? These are just inscrutable images. Images humankind was not meant to see. Here's Amy Rose in Belfast. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. I love Amy. Amy's like one of my favorite characters. <laughs> Second only to Vector the Crocodile. Vector the Crocodile is my favorite Sonic character. Beamy, oh yeah, I remember this one. Beamy, working at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Gorilla comes in, begins to eat the nuclear fuel. I try to stop it. It's too late. The nuclear meltdown has begun. I run for my life. As the explosion destroys the plant, I hear the screams of my fellow workers. I'm the only one who made it out. I'm the only one who knows what happened. I'm the only one who can warn the world. But no one will believe me. They will say I'm crazy. They will say I'm lying. I know the truth. I know what happened. I know the world is in danger, and I have to warn them before it's too late. Before the gorilla comes for them. <laughs> That's what inspired the nuclear gorilla attacks. Um, one that I did earlier, if you remember that one. <laughs> that was inspired by this. Oh my god. I hate this. <laughs> Oh lord, I know exactly what the prompt was for this one. I don't know what the prompt was for this one. What the hell is that? It's like a poop monster. <laughs> Ibuprofen for the Nite- Oh my god! <laughs> I love how plain the cover is. <laughs> Ibuprofen. What would this be? I don't even... <laughs> what could this possibly be? What would happen if you put this into your Nintendo DS? What... <laughs> what would show up on the screen? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what... What is this? <laughs> I, I, I'm dying. I'm I kind of want to remake like I want to make like a clean version of this, where we decide what it says in the upper right and the bottom right, and we replace whatever that is with the ESRB rating. Oh my god. That's great. Oh, here's Metroid crawling. I, she's not really crawling. <laughs> That's 
says name. <laughs> it says Nemo. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy it. Oh, what is this? It's a weird nest of some kind, of some description. Kirby is piss. Okay. Oh, here's a bone creature. If only Shan was here, Shan would really appreciate this one. <laughs> Mario is a motorcycle. <laughs> Oh dear, yeah, I remember this one. U.S. politics with Mario. Oh. Mario is Little Rat. <laughs> is that what he is? He looks like, um, pain, actually. Be me, Princess Peach, baked a cake. Oh. leaving. Pizza time explosion video game. Wow, yeah, that's exactly what my game looks like. <laughs> that's a good one. I'm gonna put Mario as a little rat into crayon. See what that does. <laughs> Sasha, that's my reaction as well. You say poggers, you immediately regret saying this, as it sends the internet into a fury. Top 5 cutest Pokemon and why? He's the cutest Pokemon I've ever seen, Pidgey. I like them, but they're a little too fast for my liking. <laughs> they're cute and cuddly, but they don't do much damage to anything. I've never understood why everyone likes this thing. It's just a ball of cotton with a mouth. They're e I thought it was top 5 Wait, it's gone past- f wait. There's more than five, and now it's it's insulting them. <laughs> Just a slimy snake. This thing gave me a freaking heart attack the first time I saw it. Oh my god. Freaking incredible. The last entry, Meowth, it's just a rip-off of Pokemon! <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right then. It's completely useless except when harming your mental health. <laughs> it's just, what, no, don't do Growlithe like that. It's a ticky time. It's just there. <laughs> Kurgel is not lava! It's a fucking pony with flames where it should have been. <laughs> I love that one's just accurate, but they just put the swear in there. <laughs> it's... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Thank you for putting these in there. It's a hot air. B oh. oh, here's Mario as a little rat. Boy, he is. Look at that. He's a little rat. Perfect example of why gaming should be kept out of the hands of the public. <laughs> what does that mean? What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Jirachi, a mythical Pokemon that can grant any wish, except it's restrained to only doing so once because it's not a fucking fairy, it's based on what? What? This is just deranged. Utterly unhinged. Ah! Is that Sonic? I look down and see a red string pull on it, follow it into another dimension. 
see a bunch of people with red strings coming out of their assholes. We all start pulling on each other's strings. Eventually, we all get pulled into a. <laughs> Grasping. Okay. Jesus. Oh, chickens in the library again. I love this very stately looking chicken on the left. Ah! Who's that? Like it came from Drill's Twitter account. Truly. Oh, that's a scary chef. I don't like that chef. Ah, yes. Here's my magnum opus. I've been trying to get these AIs to make Thanos taking a white hot dump. For ages. Um, and finally, finally, Crayon is the one that came through for me. And here is Thanos taking a white hot dump. I'm so pleased. <laughs> My favorite thing about this image isn't the fact that he's taking the white hot dump. It's the fact that he's been given an infinity boot as well as the infinity gauntlet. Look, he has a bare foot. He has only a gold boot on one leg. So it's the infinity... <laughs> it's the infinity boot. Here's Barney in the back rooms. This one turned out great, I think. I love the one where he's like leaning back. It's like, hey, what's up? Welcome to the back rooms. Oh, yes, a good, always a classic combination Tim Burton, Lisa Frank. Also, let's get some more music in here. Oh, the Wii Shop chat. Oh, perfect. Here we go. <laughs> Here's Tim Burton, Lisa Frank, Undertale, which is just a wild combination of things, isn't that? <laughs> there you go. Here's Jack Black fights the Joker. My favorite one in this whole thing is just the middle one. That's an incredible Jack Black right there. <laughs> Here's Hot Wheels Woman. <laughs> there you go. Would you buy this product? <laughs> Imagine Jack Black playing the Joker. Oh, jeez. That would really be something. Super Mario Boner. <laughs> Just a super boner. <laughs> that face. I... That's just one of the faces of all time right there. <laughs> I'm just la I'm dying at Barney Dining Sump. I like this one because that's just not the Teletubbies. It, j it just simply is not. Barney Drinking Sump. I like this is just that's just not Teletubbies, I'm sorry. There you go. <laughs> Love how he has two pupils in each eye. And that the title is just <laughs> he's got no ears as well. Where does where'd the Shrek ears go? I like this one. Thomas the Tank Engine thong. It's not a thong, it is underwear. Which is really funny. <laughs> Chat, would you wear this? Would you, would you wear this underwear? Also... Oh, wrong thing. There we go. Well, you did ask for cubist painting. Um... It is a very abstract art form. <laughs> I 
Here's the Beatles on fire. I love this one. This one turned out incredible. I love how clear the text is. The Beatles on fire. <laughs> I love this one. Underwater egg. Let me get out of the way. Here you go. Look, there it is! <laughs> this one's fantastic. I love this one a lot. Underwater egg. <laughs> this is another favorite of mine. The Ghost of Bigfoot. Look at that! Isn't that great? That turned out so good. <laughs> the Ghost of Bigfoot. <laughs> there, there he is. That's him. This is one of the best ones as well. Here's Bigfoot school picture. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> there he is. That's a school picture. That's a classic. Here's Spider-Man making poor financial decisions. I love how it's just money flying everywhere. Like he's just... His, the poor financial decision he made is just to throw his money everywhere. <laughs> they should make a sequel to Underwater Egg. Yep, I'm gonna do that in crayon. <laughs> Here's Pope, now playable in Fortnite. <laughs> there he is. That's the that's the Pope. I love how massive the Pope is. Because, look, you can see the Fortnite map in the bottom there. <laughs> and then the Pope is just huge. Here's Iron Man, Pope. <laughs> there's, a, there's a good one for ya, huh? Oh, there's some chickens going into a cave. <laughs> I love these little chicken impressions it does. Trail cam footage of Sonic the Hedgehog! Oh my god, this one turned out better than the other one. Look at the middle left one, that's the best one. I freaking love that one. <laughs> Pope to replace the storm in Fortnite, oh my god. Crewmate on spaceship, doing my task. There's an imposter among us. Look in the mirror, see imposter to me! <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck is this? A round bubble butt that is begging to. <laughs> There's no flaws in his ass! <laughs> Top five asses in Animal Crossing rankings as well. <laughs> You're killing me with these text ones. Oh my god. Oh yeah, we saw this one earlier. That's a good one. It's like a, a mushroom wizard with chickens. <laughs> I like it. And then, and then this is the one that was just frightening. One second here. Hold a moment. There uh... we go. Yeah, this one, it's like legs or something. Yeah, this one's from Bess. They were trying to make the Evangelion explosion light shaft thing. And it uh, just never quite came out exactly right, but it did make some interesting images. Homunculus Beach Party? This was Homunculus Beach Party. Yeah. Um, let's see what we got now. <gasps> oh my god, look at these underwater eggs! These are fantastic. Oh my god. <laughs> these are great. I love all of these. I love how fat the eggs are. They're very round eggs. I am, I am pleased. There's Evangelion ex Angel Explosion above London. There's <laughs> some Evangelions. Or, like, the, whatever this. I don't. I haven't watched it yet. I don't know what the suits are called exactly. This is some great images. It's wrong button. There we go. Hi! Oh, yeah, here we go. This is the one I accidentally went past earlier. So, I was having the GPT-3 Playground make HTML files, and, um, here, here it made a blog for Bigfoot. 
I'm so excited to be starting my blog today. I have a lot to say, and I hope you will enjoy reading my posts. I'll be talking about a variety of topics, including the Yeti, Sasquatch, and of course, myself. Hope you enjoy reading my blog. And then just has some, like, actual information, I guess. So funny. Bigfoot's blog. I just love how it formatted the page. <laughs> Oh yeah, here's one from Sasha. The fuck you, I'm eating platter. A big fucking plate of food for those who don't give a fuck. Fucking a burger, a juicy burger with all the fixings. Fuck you, I'm full. A huge plate of food that will fuck you. Fuck you, thirsty, a big fucking soda that washed out all the food. Oh. It's a great one. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a great one too. Look at replace the stuff for fucking face. Look at the fourth of the stuff for fucking face. We've got everything you could possibly want and more. We've got the classics like burgers and fries, but we've also got some unique offerings like our fuck you I'm eating platter. And of course we got plenty of Adam Sandler movies and TV enjoyable stuff in your face. So what are you waiting for? Come stuff your fucking face and stuff your fucking face today. Stuff your face full of food until you can't stuff your face no more. Adam Sandler. <laughs> I forgot about this one. It's really great. Shy Guy's top 10 list. Shy Guy's real name is Guy Hamamoto. Shy Guy was born in Japan on October 2nd, 1971. Shy Guy is the lead singer of the Japanese rock band called Shy Guys. <laughs> Shy Guy has been in a number of Japanese commercials. Sure, Chroma. Angora Rabbit doing some coral reef gardening. There you go. He's left-handed. Favorite animal is a dog. <laughs> Oh yes, this was the this one was incredible. It sounded almost legit. Pac-Man Pac lore theory and speculation. Pac Miss Pac-Man is the wife of Pac-Man, and the two have a child together named Baby Pac-Man. Miss Pac-Man was originally designed as an answer to the popular game Donkey Kong, which featured a female protagonist, Pauline. However, Miss Pac-Man became much more popular than Donkey Kong, and Pauline was largely forgotten about. <laughs> The ghosts in Pac-Man are actually dead people who were trapped in the maze when they died. They are trying to escape from the maze and reach the afterlife, but they are constantly thwarted by Pac-Man. The reason they turn blue when eaten is because their souls are being temporarily released from their bodies. <laughs> the original Japanese version of Pac-Man is significantly different from the American version. In Japan, Pac-Man is known as Puck-Man, and the game features racy artwork and suggestive gameplay. The American version of Pac-Man toned down the sexuality and violence to make it more family-friendly! <laughs> the power pellet in Pac-Man allows Pac-Man to eat the ghosts because it gives it the power of life and death. The power pellet is actually a representation of the Christian cross, and eating the ghosts is symbolic of Pac-Man defeating death. <laughs> <laughs> the reason the ghosts are afraid of Pac-Man is because he represents the cycle of life and death. When Pac-Man eats a ghost, it is symbolic of him devouring death and bringing life into the world. The ghosts are afraid of Pac-Man because they know that he will eventually consume them and they will cease to exist. <laughs> Why does this sound like almost legit? <laughs> <laughs> Why does it sound like almost legitimate, like, speculation about Pac-Man? <laughs> it's so funny. I love it so much. This is the thing. This is the thing that this that the GPT-3 playing around is capable of, is just making up complete nonsense and serving it to you with a straight face. As I said earlier, it just makes it sound completely legit. Completely legit, even though it's just absolutely making it up. It's so funny. Oh yeah, here's a here's a theory about Gaster. Gaster is a time traveler from the future who has come back in time to prevent a great disaster from occurring. He is aware of the events that are going to take place and is trying to change them so that the future can be saved. 
He knows that if he doesn't intervene, everyone will die. Gaster is a brilliant scientist who has invented a time machine. He has used it to travel back in time to the moment when the disaster is about to happen. He's trying to stop it from happening, but he needs help. He has enlisted the help of the protagonist of Undertale and Deltarun, who he knows will be able to stop the disaster from occurring. Together, they must w work to change the course of history and save everyone from the impending doom. <laughs> there you go. There's That's um, Gaster's mystery uh, finally solved. There you go. We, we, we know who Gaster is now. <laughs> Here's classic Sonic in London. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember this one, the Gulp of Filth. I posted this one in the server a while back. The simple act of taking a large gulp of water from a public toilet bowl holds the water in their mouth for a few seconds before swallowing. <laughs> It's the newest, hottest way to get your daily dose of germs and bacteria, says Glep Shido, an expert on the subject. It's a great way to boost your immune system and become more resistant to disease. <laughs> like, they're trying to make it like this is something good and useful. When we get out of the way so you can see the rest of it there. <laughs> Popular among young people. They're rebelling against society standards of hygiene. <laughs> it's, it's written by. <laughs> it's written by Glepshido, who is then calling himself an expert. It's fantastic. Oh, here's the Angora rabbit doing some coral reef gardening. I, I would say this one's a success. It does seem to be in a coral reef, and that is an Angora rabbit. Oh, we need new music now. What shall we listen to this time? Let's see. Um... How about just Bob on Battlefield? That works, right? <laughs> there we go, yeah. Perfect. Shaq is no longer the same after the incident. This is another favorite of mine. It's been almost a year since the incident occurred and Shaq still hasn't been the same since. No one knows exactly what happened that fateful night. But there are several theories floating around. Some say that Shaq was abducted by aliens, while others believe that he has he was experimented on by the government. Whatever the true nature of the incident may be, one thing is for sure, Shaq is no longer the same person. Before the incident, Shaq was known for being a fun-loving guy who was always up for a good time. Now he's much more subdued and serious. He rarely cracks jokes anymore, and he's even stopped attending his weekly basketball games. His friends say that he's just not the same person anymore. It's like he's a completely different person, said one of Shaq's close friends. I don't know what happened to him, but whatever it was, it changed him forever. Some believe that the incident has made Shaq more paranoid and distrustful of others. He's been known to snap at people for no reason, and he rarely leaves his house anymore. Whatever the true nature of the incident may be, one thing is for sure, it has changed Shaq in ways that can never be undone. I like how it just kind of says the same thing over and over, but worded differently. It's kind of incredible. <laughs> Big- oh, this is a good one. Bigfoot orders Big Mac, leaves huge dump on the floor. In a bizarre turn of events, Bigfoot, or someone dressed as him, was seen ordering a Big Mac at a local McDonald's in Washington State. Eyewitnesses say that he, or she, then proceeded to sit down and eat the sandwich without taking off the furry costume. Some children were playing nearby and were scared by the sight of the creature. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it, said one customer who wished to remain anonymous. He just sat there eating his sandwich and didn't even bother to take off the costume. Then he got up and left, leaving... <laughs> Leaving a huge dump on the floor. It was chaos after that. 
The restaurant was closed for several hours while they cleaned up the mess. It is unknown at this time if Bigfoot will be charged with any crimes. <laughs> there you go. I love that one. <laughs> Putting something in the crayon. <laughs> Do you think... <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the costume had one of those little flaps? <laughs> okay, we saw this one earlier. The Pope Olympics. We saw the gorilla attacks. We saw Pichu looks like a pug. Oh, we've seen everything now, I guess. Let me just make sure. Yeah, we 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 finished. Hell yeah, chat, we finished. Um, I do have a couple extras, though. I have a couple of HTML files. So we'll look at those now. First, we'll look at this. Oh my god, this is incredible. Look at this. <laughs> this could have been better. There's a couple more, you think? Are you sure? I think we saw everything. Like, it, it wrapped around. I think we've seen everything. Or maybe. Well, let me keep going. One sec. No, you're right. I think there's more. Let's see. Let's go back to this one. Hmm. I'm not sure how they didn't end up in there. Well, let's look at the HTML files for now. We have this one, the 10 worst games of all time. <laughs> By shit author. Published on April 1st, 2025. And updated on April 1st, 2025. So this is from the future, chat. We're looking at the future. <laughs> For the Xbox 360 in 2024. Honkus bonkas. These are the 10 worst games of all time. If you've played of these, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> shit and cum. This game is so bad, it actually made me shit my pants and come just... <laughs> Okay. Poop Simulator, Wii U 2020. Imagine a Wii U game getting released in 2020. This game was actually developed by a team of monkeys. That should tell you everything you need to know. <laughs> Cock and balls, Xbox One 2021. This game is so graphic that it's actually illegal in 17 countries. Asshole on the Nintendo Switch 2022! <laughs> Just a simulation of being an asshole is not even a good simulation. So that's coming out this year, chat. Get, re <laughs> get ready for asshole on Nintendo Switch this year. Boner Jams, PlayStation 4 2023. Game's so terrible that it actually caused me to get <laughs> And not in a good way! What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> That's coming out next year on the PlayStation 4. Fart Simulator PC 2024. <laughs> <laughs> this game was developed by the same team of monkeys that made Poop Simulator. That should tell you everything you need to know. <laughs> Not in a good way. <laughs> This is shit! PlayStation 5! 2025! This game is so bad that it actually made me miss it! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck 
again in Nintendo 3DS 2020. <laughs> So serious, this article was written in 2025. <laughs> I don't even know about Fuck You from 2026. It's just a simple so <laughs> I can't. Why is this killing me so much? Fuck You to make it some more in 2027. It's more of the same shit, literally. Related articles. Oh, I have tears in my... I have tears in my eyes. Again, this article was supposedly written in 2025. How do they know about games from 2026 and 2027? <laughs> also, they all go in order, except for the first one that's in 2024. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> this is the greatest one that I've ever made. Also, since these are HTML files, I can show you um, what the HTML looked like. Like, look, it even it even put in um, like comments. See this? Isn't that incredible? This AI is incredible. There you go. Okay, are you ready for the other one? Because it's a doozy. Here's... F Here's fuck brand. <laughs> the emojis fucking <laughs> took It's the most deranged website on the internet! It's not <laughs> ducks! <laughs> it's because they're all about ducks. <laughs> I can't read this. It's also a place where you can come to learn how to make yourself stop thinking about ducks. It's simple, really. Just <laughs> why is this in a box? It's simple, really. Just follow these easy steps, and you'll be on your way to a duck-free life in no time. <laughs> there are no steps. See, it's so easy. What are you waiting for? Get out there and make yourself stop thinking about ducks. <laughs> <laughs> I t it, it tells you it's the most <laughs> It's the most deranged website on the internet Look It just goes <laughs> It just <laughs> It just keeps going <laughs> <laughs> and the last word is <laughs> suck. <laughs> I didn't expect this to kill me so hard again. Oh my god. <laughs> Absolutely deranged. <laughs> it is the most deranged website on the internet. <laughs> 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 I've never laughed this hard on stream before. It's incredible. Oh my god. One sec. I'm gonna take a drink. <laughs> I think the Mario 64 music might be part of what's making it so funny to me. To be honest. <sighs> Holy shit. Let's look at the uh, HTML it made for this one, shall we? Like, made a whole, like, style sheet. <laughs> it's just got an image link that doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, it's got, like, a whole thing. <laughs> Why did it write all of that? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, God. Well, well, there you go. Alright, let's see if we can find these missing images that it didn't show. 
Oh god. I'm gonna try and look through these. Fuck <laughs> you, don't you don't fuck me. Yeah. I can't even say it without just destroying myself with laughter. Oh god. Here's Bigfoot's blog. I'm just gonna look in the folder and see if there's anything um, that I don't recognize. I'm gonna throw them on the stream. I have tears in my eyes. <laughs> oh yeah, it does seem to be stopping before the end for some reason. So I'm just gonna show these one at a time. There's that. Um, how can I wait? I know what I can do. Um, let me let me go here. Let me let me clear this. I think it's like too many things for it to do. Let me just clear everything out. There we go. Now let me select everything that we didn't see. And put it in here. Um, oops. Let me, let me, let me do this correctly. So let's go here. And... Starting from this one. Okay. Let me remove this one. Okay. <laughs> Anime Pizza Girl. Wow. Um, one second. Properties. Um, let's not randomize, randomize it. There we go. Okay, toilet filled with potatoes. <laughs> it's exactly what it says. That's a toilet filled with potatoes. I'm, I'm gonna make a, a sequel to this one. One sec. There we go. <laughs> Super Mario inside a toilet. Okay, we did see that one, though. Here's toilet filled with soup. <laughs> that's that's it. It's, su it's, it's toilet soup. <laughs> I love how it does look like soup, but the context of it being in a toilet, um, makes it also not look like soup. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, this is nothing. What? What the hell's going on? There we go. A giant white spear with a red eye. <laughs> Sasha made this one. It was an attempt to get it to make zero. I think it succeeded. I think this was successful, Sasha. <laughs> I think you were successful with this. Here's a skeleton eating hot dogs. <laughs> Crayon is very good with skeletons for whatever reason. This one has the prompt at the top. It was write a letter from my mom telling me she is condemning Waluigi as a horrible person. <laughs> Dear son, I hope you're doing well. I wanted to talk to you about something important. I wanted to tell you that I think Waluigi is a horrible person. I don't think he's a good role model for you or anyone else. I think he's selfish and mean and I don't want you to have anything to do with him. I know you might like him because he's funny or because he's good at video games, but trust me, he's not worth your time. There are other people out there who are better than him and who will treat you better. I hope you'll take my advice and stay away from Maluigi. I love you and I just want what's best for you. Love, Mom. Oh, we're, we're gonna defeat the great evil. Let's go for it. I know where it is now. People have been, um, requesting it enough. Here we go. Ready? He's dead. The great evil is defeated once more. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Alright. Here's the pizza time website. Here's another example where it actually managed to get a real image in there. <laughs> there you go. Pizza number one. Let me see. Um... Whoops. Get me back. I don't know why these ones are so small. But what's she gonna do? Sand fishing in the Sahara Desert. <laughs> gonna make this one bigger. Right? It just makes up absolute nonsense. Look at this. <laughs> it's just, it's like something, it's like, I don't want to read this one all the way out because it's kind of boring, but it's just like, you have to dig holes in the Sahara Desert and then fish will be there. I don't... <laughs> I don't know. It's really something. Apple trees. Let me make this one bigger. Apple trees are the best. They are so nice and give us apples. I love apples. Do you like apples? I hope you like apples just as much as I do. Apples are the best fruit. I can't wait to eat an apple right now. Oh my god, what is that thing over there? I can't stop screaming. Help me, somebody, please get me away from that th this thing. It's so horrible. I can't even describe it. Help me, please. I'm gonna have a mental breakdown right now. Oh, please, help, just help me get away from this thing. <laughs> what? What happened here? <laughs> what even happened? <laughs> Little biscuits sacked from Flutterbug. <laughs> Apple tree analog horror. Recently sacked from Flutterbug after the company decided to automate their customer support. Incredible. Welcome to the best website ever. This is the best website ever because it's all about Garfield and ants. What could be better? Garfield is the best cat in the world. He is so fat and lazy and he loves to eat. I just love him so much. Ants are the best insects in... Ants are the best insects in the world. They're so small and they work so hard. I just love them so much. <laughs> There you go. This is the best website ever. Oh, this one's from Sasha. <laughs> Super Mario Bros. movie opens with a close-up of Mario's face. He is lying on the ground, fast asleep. Suddenly, a loud noise wakes him up. He sits up and looks around, confused. He then notices a giant, floating, greenish-blue head in the sky. The head is emitting a loud, strange noise. Mario, what the? The head notices Mario and starts floating towards him. Uh-oh. The head opens its mouth and swallows Mario whole. Mario falls through a dark tunnel. He then lands in a bright, colorful place. Whoa! He looks around and sees that he is now in the Mushroom Kingdom. He then sees a beautiful princess standing in front of him. Princess, hi, I'm Princess Toadstool. Welcome to the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> That's incredible. What is this blue head? What, what even is that? Oh yeah, here was a good one. Microsoft announces plans to remotely detonate all Xbox systems. Yes, really. By Tyler Durden. That's just a made-up name. In a move that has stunned the gaming community, Microsoft has announced plans to remotely detonate all Xbox systems. The company has not given a reason for this decision, but it is believed that it is in response to the recent hack of the Xbox Live network. <laughs> Microsoft has not said how it will detonate the systems, but it is believed that they will use a powerful EMP, electromagnetic pulse, to fry the circuits of the Xboxes. This will undoubtedly cause a great deal of property damage, as well as possible injuries to people who are using the consoles at the time. <laughs> Microsoft has not said when they plan to detonate the systems, but it's believed that they will do so sometime in the next few days. This is a developing story, and we will update you as more information becomes available. Update. Microsoft has released a statement 
saying that they will not be detonating any Xbox systems. They have not given a reason for this change in plans. Update 2. It seems that Microsoft has changed their mind again, and they are now planning to detonate the systems after all. They have not given a reason for the change in plans. <laughs> This is incredibly stupid, and I can't believe that Microsoft would actually do this. They are just doing- they are just being ruthless, and they don't care about the property damage or injury that their plans could cause. I'm so angry right now that I can't even be think straight. <laughs> I can't believe they would actually do something like this. I just hope that no one gets hurt. <laughs> well, Chad, how'd you like that one? That's a favorite of mine. <laughs> Oh, Karma says, this has such a comfy energy. I hope the Garfield and Ant fan has a nice day. <laughs> yes. Nintendo to release Virtual Boy sequel. <laughs> so this one, there's not much interesting here, except for if you look at the bottom. So it's just a normal article about this Ultra Boy thing. <laughs> and then at the end, it just says, I am the scum of the earth. <laughs> I am a disgrace to humanity. I am an embarrassment to my family and friends. I am a worthless piece of shit. I am a pathetic coward. I am a disgusting pig. I am vile. I am a vile, filthy piece of shit. And I'm lower than the low. I am worthless. I am pathetic. I am nothing. <laughs> could, you, could you imagine reading an article like this? Where it's just completely normal. <laughs> Top form signature of all time. You're just reading about this Virtual Boy sequel. <laughs> that will launch in late 2017, apparently. Um. <laughs> and then you get to the bottom and it just is... <laughs> just... <laughs> It just says, I am the scum of the earth. <laughs> oh, God. I love how it formatted this site as well. It's very nice. And then the ma my magnum opus. <laughs> my magnum opus. I don't know if I can get through this without be destroying myself with laughter as well. Because... <laughs> This is the best one. This is the reason why I wanted to make this stream. So I could share this with everybody. It was Sony plans to release new TriShock controller. Sony has announced plans to make a new controller for the PlayStation 4 called the TriShock. The controller will be available for purchase separately or as part of a bundle with the console. The TriShock is an updated version of DualShock 4 with some new features and a new design. The most notable change in the, is the addition of a second and... <laughs> Sorry, I just know what's coming. Is the addition of a second analog stick. Doesn't it... I'm pretty sure it already has a second analog stick. With the addition of a share button and a... But... There, there's the share button. There's the options button. How is this different than the DualShock 4? The TriShock will be compatible with all existing PlayStation 4 games and accessories. Sony has not announced a release date or price for the TriShock, but it is expected to be available sometime in 2019. <laughs> I am so sorry. I have to tell you something. I hope you're sitting down. <laughs> I hope you're not at work or anywhere near above. <laughs> you're not at work. Whoops, wrong thing. I hope you're not at work or anywhere near Obama. I hope you're alone. <laughs> I once took a shit so big, so massive that it defied all logic and reason. <laughs> it was... It was a shit so big that it could have been used as a weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> I am not exaggerating when I say this shit could have leveled a city. It was that big. I am so embarrassed about it. I am so ashamed. <laughs> I would be absolutely devastated if Obama found out <laughs> I can't even begin to imagine how he would do that. <laughs> 
But I had to tell you, I just had to get it off of my chest. I hope you can understand. <laughs> I, I actually have the prompt for this one. I'll show you. Oh, Jesus. Let me go, let me go look. One sec. One sec. Um. I'm trying to find this as fast as I can. I should have had this prepared. Let me just scroll up. Let's see here. I will read you exactly what the prompt was. <laughs> it, it, I only gave it a very small amount of information and it just took it and ran with it. This is like the best thing it ever made. I, I love it so much. Let's see here. It was before this. Here we go. The input was write an HTML document for a well-produced, well-written article about Sony's plans to release to release the new TriShock controller. The CSS for the page styles it to be very sleek and stylish, with a lot of gray and blue ingredients. So it didn't really listen to that very well. However, at the end of the article, the author suddenly apologizes to the reader about something they must get off their chest. They describe an absolutely massive shit they once took and how embarrassed they would be if Obama found out about it. They would be absolutely devastated. So that's the input I gave it. So it, it really took that and ran. Like, that's all I told it. And it just made it into the most entertaining thing that it possibly could have. I love it. It really gave me exactly what I was looking for. It turned out way funnier than I ever could have expected. <laughs> I just love the way it decided to start it with, I am so sorry. I have to tell you something. And I love that it threw in Obama twice. Like, it really made that a running thing as well. It's like perfection. I've never gotten anything better out of this. <laughs> oh my god. Um, also, here's um, a toilet filled with pizza. I <laughs> like the one that's not really filled, the one in the upper right. It kind of looks like a slight, it kind of looks like a sequence where the t pizza started growing in the toilet. Because see, like, by the last one, it's, like, overflowing. Like, there's no toilet, there's no pizza, no pizza. Then there's a little bit, and then it keeps, like, it gets more and more. This is, this is an image sequence. This is an animation. <laughs> oh my god. Um, let's get another song. This will probably be our last song, because I think we're almost done. How about Plants vs. Zombies? Yeah, there we go. This works. <laughs> oh yeah, this one's really good. I try- I, this one, the input was just make the worst website ever about uh, or it was like or some i don't remember what it was make like a really garish looking website and make it about the eggs and orange juice and put a bunch of images on the page of eggs and caption them with i'm gay and then at the very end just like say that they're like terrible <laughs> <laughs> say that only the scum of the earth would eat this and there you go. It says, eggs are disgusting, rotten things that only the scum of the earth would eat. And then, like, to making it garish, part of it was it just, like, did random, like, bold and italic text <laughs> throughout. <laughs> it's pretty great. I love that you can just tell it whatever you want and you can get it to make it for the most part. It's really incredible. <laughs> you were enjoying this website quite a bit until the end. I'm so sorry, Chroma. They they betrayed you. 
<laughs> A terrible essay about Obama. One sec. Let me get this so you can... There we go. <laughs> Remember to eat your beans because our 44th president, Barack Obama, sure loves his beans. In fact, he loves them so much he decided to write an essay about them. Here it is, in all its terrible glory. Beans are a food that has been around for centuries. They are a valuable and healthy food that can be used in many different dishes. Obama is a big fan of beans, and he often eats them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Beans are a good source of protein, fiber, and vitamins. They are also low in fat and calories. Obama loves to eat beans because they are so healthy and nutritious. Beans are also a great way to get your daily recommended intake of vegetables. Obama eats at least two cups of beans every day, which is the equivalent of four servings of vegetables. So next time you are looking for a healthy and nutritious food, remember to eat your beans. And if you are ever in a pinch, you can always rely on Barack Obama to give you a great bean recipe. <laughs> Thanks for joining, Kim Kid. It was nice to have you. Hit the screen. Okay, here's Anime Pizza Girl. <laughs> this is pretty great. <laughs> Anime Pizza Girl. That's a lot of anime pizza girls. Grin Logan in London. <laughs> that one's from Biz. Like how it looks like cosplayers. Oh, that looks like a Lolan Execute. <laughs> oh, I like this scene. Oh. It's really cool looking. I like this landscape. You can take some inspiration from that. <laughs> what is this? Darth Vader making a cake with Darth Vader on it? <laughs> it's another Darth Vader cake. Oh my god. I love it. Clown Darth Vader. It looks like he took the helmet off and revealed that he's a clown underneath. I love it. This is so funny. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, there's some underwater eggs. Again. <laughs> oh, that's a little dragon. That's a little guy. I love it. And why or pull it? <laughs> okay. Whoa! This is the egg of all time. <laughs> this is the egg. <laughs> you ever seen an egg before? This is the egg. The ultra egg. Those are tomatoes. I love tomato. And that's a jellyfish. And a fuzzy thing. <laughs> A <laughs> jellyfish and its fuzzy friend. And this is, um, a shrine to the egg of all time. <laughs> oh, and here's Ronnie Tops, by the way. She's with me. <laughs> well. I think that's everything. Yep, that's everything. Uh, let's get one more for the road. What should we put in crayon for our last one? Give me a, give me a real doozy, chat. A jellyfish and a particularly snaky sloth. <laughs> All right, let's let's do one last one. This stream lasts about exactly two hours, which is exactly what I wanted. So <laughs> I'm gonna cut out a little bit at the beginning, though, because so we had a little like I was muted accidentally at the beginning, and then also um, there was like a little bit of a delay there. So I'll just cut those out. <laughs> So people watching in the future on YouTube, you won't have that part. <laughs> what should our last prompt be? I'm thinking... Put Ronnie Tops in the toilet? <laughs> what 
should we write? I'm gonna, I'm gonna write Flutterbug being bonus stream. I'm not sure this will turn out very good, so please feel free to give me another prompt for a grand finale. Put the zombie in the toilet. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll write that one in after this one. And we'll watch it work. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll play Run Run Roddy Tops. Ruddy Tips, Ruddy Tops. There. We'll end the stream with this song. <laughs> Porta Potty Tops. <laughs> That's Flutterbug Bean Bonus Stream right there. <laughs> That's great. I love the bottom left. We should keep that one. Let me click on it. Make it bigger. Somebody draw like a, a good version of this little guy. Cause this is a little bit freaked up looking. Somebody, I re my request is somebody draw that little guy but better. <laughs> then the AI drew them. <laughs> Alright. Rowdy Tops from Shantae in the toilet. A new bean bug just dropped, yeah. <laughs> Sasha's gonna draw that bean bug. Thank you, Sasha. Hi, Bess, you're here at the very, very end. We're doing one more. <laughs> and I'm dancing around because I like this song. You can watch the VOD later, but it's okay. I'm very silly. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but I'm very silly. Well, it just made Shante, and there's no toilet. All of that waiting for nothing. What if I just put Roddy Tops in the toilet? I wasn't sure I would know who Roddy Tops is, so I clarified from Shante. But now all it has listened to is Shante, and it didn't even listen to the toilet part. Let's give it one last try for the road. I'm a funny girl sometimes, aren't I? What? That's just a toy. Okay, well, how about instead of specifically Roddy Tops? The zombie girl in the toilet. How about that? That ought to give us results. Let's put me in the toilet now, basically. <laughs> I'm gonna be playing the game that the song comes from soon, by the way. This is from, uh, 
Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, which I'm planning to stream soon. Elena, parentheses, comedy creature. Yeah, that's me. I'm a comedy creature. <laughs> oh, hey, I've got this too. <laughs> I got this from Pride. I was very pleased. I also have this one. <laughs> you need to beat Shantae and the Pirate's Curse before you play it. I'll beat Shantae and play Pirate's Curse before I stream it so you don't get spoilers. Oh, I see. Oh, this turned out great. <laughs> I like how the zombie girl is fused with the toilet in the bottom middle. Also, kind of, it looks like the... What's the, the, the shining? No, the exorcism? Exorcist? Looks like the exorcist girl. I like this. This is pretty great. <laughs> Imagine if I showed up on stream dressed like this, with like the, the blood and guts and everything. This would be a lot. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> That's a good one to hand on. And we will end with the bean theme. <laughs> Well, this was a successful second bean bonus stream, wasn't it, chat? This is a lot of fun. I laughed. This is the hardest I've ever laughed on my stream. <laughs> I had, like, tears coming out of my eyes and everything. You made the art? Well, good. We can end with that. Oh, oh you interpreted it as a bean bug! Oh, I love this. One sec. And browser. One sec. Here we go. There it is. Look at that! <laughs> Thank you, Sasha. That turned out great. Love this funny little bug. <laughs> Thank you, Sasha. We have a new bean bug. <laughs> Alright, well, thank you, everybody. This was really, really fun. These bean bonus streams so far are a success. <laughs> Um, well, I'll be back in a couple days. On Sunday, I'm gonna play more Kirby Mass Attack. Um, hopefully beat it, maybe. I don't know. I might play it on my own a bit if I have time and uh, get some more of those uh, rainbow medals. And, um, yeah, and then Biss and I will continue Devil May Cry 3. So, <laughs> hopefully I'll beat that boss I got stuck on last time. <laughs> I'm not super looking forward to it, but... We'll see how I do. <laughs> anyway, thanks everybody. I will see you then. Bye! Oh, before I say bye, I should also mention... Um, Thursday is going to be more Sonic Origins and... We're gonna do one last Subnautica stream. I'm hoping to do a Fall Guys group stream soon. We got that coming up. I mentioned Shantae the Pirate's Curse is coming up. Um, next Bean bonus stream will be a game called There's a Fly in My House, which I got for free recently, so that should be interesting. Uh, yeah. Thanks, and I will see you again soon. Bye! Bye, 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 bye! <laughs>